Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a First Contact Entertainment news update. This one relates to both Firewall Ultra and First Contact Entertainment as a whole. Both of these things are pretty interesting in my opinion. First things first, the big one for Firewall Ultra is that a new patch is out. Update 1.15 has rolled out. Is this the last patch we'll ever see? I'm not too sure. But let's go into some details and what's involved in this patch. So I'm going to read out the announcement from Trevor over on the First Contact Entertainment Discord. He says, attention firewall contractors, firewall ultra will be going down momentarily about 10 a.m. blah 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 while we roll out patch 115. You should expect only a brief amount of downtime while the patch is applied. Here is everything included in patch 1.15. So, cargo. Rotated access points so that it is accessible to the player. Stronghold added collision to arch pieces on the storage building, so there was a, a pretty bad exploit where you could just walk through a wall and you could shoot people from inside an exterior that you, or an interior that you weren't supposed to be in. It was like, you know, you were basically out of the map. So the next point is reduced collision capsule around all projectiles. Presumably that means the hitboxes on bullets or whatnot aren't going to be as big. Maybe that's just throwable grenades though, I'm not too sure. Uh, corrected one-handed aiming on affected weapons and finally corrected assignment save system when information cannot be retrieved actually now that i think of it maybe that reduced collision capsule thing has to do with the bullets not going through the railings on certain maps so now that they've reduced the collision capsule maybe it will go through the railings now that could have been what the issue was all along because i do remember hearing that this this update was going to address the railings on maps like compound and whatnot where there was issues okay so that is the patch out of the way what about the other first contact entertainment news well as you probably already know by now first contact entertainment are actually no more you know by the end of last year so they would have already shut down by the time this patch actually came out however you may be interested to hear that some members of first contact entertainment have already joined a new studio and they're already working on an upcoming first person shooter psvr2 title and you may already know that game. So the studio is Strange Game Studio, and the game that they're working on is the latest Honor and Juicy that's on the way. So I played the Honor and Juicy beta myself a few weeks ago, and you can see that stream on the channel if you want to see my overall thoughts on it and more in more depth, I would say. Uh, but off the top of my head, the game was in a pretty rough condition. Invisible walls, satisfying or lack of satisfaction in the shooting and gunplay and whatnot. However, it is doing things that are kind of interesting that no other shooter is doing in terms of you know the player bit or the player count, I should say, 64 players. I think they're going to have like a battle royale mode in there as well and stuff. But if there's anything that that game needed, it was more expertise, more hands on deck to get that more in a more polished state i would say so people from first contact entertainment coming in uh sounds like nothing but good news for me i don't know how much they can change in the amount of time that's left before the game releases which i think isn't too far away but it's great for both honor and juicy and it's great for those people on first contact entertainment who have already kind of landed on their feet and got new positions so quickly after uh what happened now i don't know specifics on how many are coming and who they are but yeah for a game that i kind of written off a little bit i mean i would have checked out sound and juicy again when it fully launched but after my experience with the base i was kind of uh you know but now the first contact entertainment people are coming on board and you know more interested in seeing what they've changed what they've improved is it going to feel a bit more polished now you know and anyway that is the end of this video thank you for watching lads and ladies before i go though let me thank my channel members who are the following muzz dead eye dan chop ppe no one knows move master make esports commentator for hire deej the pumpkin patch kid pete hawkins crumb superfly af edify till i die lone wolf or aced mr 777 dante bruce jubba jub productions jl germ warfare 86 the mad hatter horatio ward durbin brown funky sloth higher primate 30 joel hasib mirza Prophecy 777, Amanda Clark, Nert Boglin, Turbro Turner, Roy Schwartz, Jeremiah, Eden Shaw, Love Machine 83, Gaming and More, and Infinity Lefty. Thank you very much for the support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you would like to be a member too, you can do so by hitting the join button beneath this video. That is it for this video though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, lads and ladies. Please stay nice and moist.